Uh, on our second visit. 15 second board being readied. Almost everybody in position then as we prepare for SX2, the second sprint race. Jay So in there, 401. And the 15 second board is up then. After 15 seconds, that'll turn to five. The gate will drop and the riders will charge, what, 60, 70 meters or so down into turn one. A 180 left, a nice wide sweeping. 180 left around the outside of the whoop section. 66, your race one winner up the inside gate there. Doesn't get a good jump though. Can he muscle his way through? No, it's going to be Asuti. And Asuti was the Oxmoto whole shot winner last time. And I think he's done it again this time around. I'll tell you what, that's a nice line down the outside if you can get hold of it. But banging bars again as we hit turn two. And I think we have a change for the lead and it may be Blos all over again leading the way. Asuti there in second. Owen there in third. Just alongside them, looks like it's Doe on the 773. As we get a little bit of bar banging action almost into that final turn at the end of that first lap, but it's still Blos leading the way. It's Hootie second, Jace Owen in third, LeBeau in fourth place actually. Then Brees Malin, Thomas Doe, Matt Moss, uh, Cullen Park, Lucas Ambert, and Eugen Manzato. Whoops have had a little bit of prep during the break, but not too much. There's your leader, looking to make it two out of two. Gonna put him on 50 points if he can stay there at the end of the next four minutes plus a lap. A little bit off balance there for Jace Owen. Still hanging on in third position in yellow. So the 401 for Honda FR25 Sutton. A little bit closer this time around, though. Blos not able to dictate. Well, he's leading the race, but he's not able to dictate the pace like he did in race one, where he was victorious by almost three and a half seconds. He's about three quarters of a second clear at the start of this second lap. Jace Owen looking interested as well there in third place. They're just starting to leave behind. Julian LeBeau. Well, if it is, Julian Bow showing on a KTM. There's a Suti. So get the riders over the line. Blos, 66. Is Suti there, right there in second. Jace Owen still hanging on in third position as we hit the whoops again for the third time. little inside rut for the riders to get into. You can see how it's already starting to break down. This corner here as well, turn two. Isuti able to seat bounce his way and then takes a different rhythm in and out of there. Look, compared to Owen. Race one, finished. Blos, Isuti, Owen. Race two, we've got exactly the same. Thomas Dovo was fourth in race one. He is currently in ninth place. Julian LeBeau was ninth, and he's currently in fourth position. So, a little bit of swapping and changing after the top three this time around, compared to race one. Prunier in tenth again. So, the Bird Racing Kawasaki rider just struggling to find his comfort, find his range here in Paris. All of a sudden, Los is starting to pull clear. He had just under a second at the start of this fourth lap. We're going to be there in another corner or so's time. And is he going to extend his lead? His lap time last time around, a 45.702. That was the fastest lap of the race by about a tenth of a second. And this time, though, with four laps complete, he's now 1.9 seconds clear. His Suti, though, does not have that same kind of luxury afforded upon him because Jace Owen all over the back of him once more. So less than a minute to go. Owen getting closer. If he finds his way past, then these two will be tied on points going into the main event a little later on this evening.
Double, triple. Oh, and off the track goes Isuti, and that paves the way for Owen to go through. It was an easy pass in the end then. Just jumped offline, couldn't rush to get back on because there's not a lot of dirt on the sort of outside of the, the barriers there, the tough blocks. Can get quite skating, loose, dry dirt, very marbling. There's Jace Owen, wrestles that Honda to the end of the wave, uh, whoop section. Isuti trying to rectify his mistake as he closes back in on the American. Time is up. We're heading into the final lap. Close now. Almost two seconds clear. Thought we might have seen Yanni Asuti there just kind of try and go for the jugular there. It might happen at the end of this next straight if he can find his... Oh, he's just messed up there on the exit, though. I was going to say, if he can get this perfect, he can go from left to right and force the move at the end of the straight in this corner here, but not close enough. Jace Owen now, barring any mistakes, should hang on for that second position. There's a back marker on the horizon, though, coming up in the next right-hander or two. Tries to stay out of the way. Jace Owen will keep to his left. Almost gets in the way there. But it is a win for Blos. Owen second, Asuti third, almost found a way through in the final corner because that back marker thought he was staying out of the way, but all of a sudden found himself right there in the center. And Asuti was almost able to find his way up the inside. So as it goes in, as we go into the final race, then later on in the night, Chris Blos will be uh, leading the way. Jace Owen and Yanni Asuti changing positions then, trading places, second, third, third, second this time around. Those two tied on points for that second overall. Matt Moss coming home in fourth place, found his way past Julian Lebeau on the final lap. So the Australian then going from sixth to fourth in race two.